In this video, we're going to be looking at motion maps and motion graphs for ob objects that are accelerating. We're going to start with this ball on a ramp that's rolling down. As it rolls down, it's going to be speeding up. I'm going to be using dots to represent um, the ball as it is rolling. And you'll notice that the ball goes farther and farther apart. Um, I'm also going to draw my uh, position arrow so you know the direction of the positive the, of the positive direction. So as the ball rolls, it's going to go faster and faster. And that is represented by the dots getting farther and farther apart. That represents the velocity. Dots represents the position of the ball at different instants in time. So let's say like every uh, second. And the arrow indicates direction that it's moving. And we're going to make down the ramp positive. So what you notice is that the object is moving in the positive direction. It's going faster and faster. And we're representing that by the distance uh, between the dots. Now we're going to look at the motion graphs for the ball rolling down a ramp. Once again, we're going to make down the ramp positive. As the ball is rolling down the ramp, it's going to go faster and faster. On a position graph, um, that's going to be a curved line. It's going to look like this, and it's going to get steeper and steeper. The velocity graph is going to be a straight line, um, but at an angle. This tells us the velocity is increasing at a constant rate. The acceleration is the rate at which your velocity changes, and the velocity is changing at a constant rate and so uh, the acceleration is going to be constant it's going to be a horizontal line i want to uh, spend a little bit of time on these three graphs and try to see if there is some sort of pattern what we notice is that the position graph the slope of the position graph tells us the velocity and what do i mean by that if you look at the position graph, if you were to draw these tangent lines, and tangent lines are these straight lines that touch the curve or circle um, at one point, okay? And you'll notice that they get steeper and steeper. So um, we, and, and we'll start with the first one. We have this positive um, slope, and then it's more slanted. So I'll put two pluses, make it more positive, and this is even more positive, okay? So um, because the uh, slope is getting um, greater and greater. We know that the velocity is increasing because the slope here represents the velocity. The velocity graph, the, velo the sorry, the slope on the velocity graph represents the acceleration um, because acceleration is the rate at which your velocity changes. And the slope of the velocity graph is positive, and it's constant. It's a straight line. Uh, so the acceleration, the acceleration is going to be a constant positive acceleration. So using the position graph, we can figure out the velocity graph. Using the velocity graph, we can figure out the acceleration. So now we'll look at an object that is slowing down. And once again, slowing down in physics um, is also consider accelerating because accelerating in physics is speeding up, slowing down, or changing direction. So in this case, we have a ball that's initially pushed. And as it goes up the ramp, it's slowing down. And it is moving in the positive direction. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my um, motion map and uh, draw my position uh, arrow here. Uh, and next, I'm going to use dots to represent the object at, at uh, instances in time uh, and so here's my dot and the dots are going to be getting closer and closer and closer okay and the arrows are representing the direction of the object uh, that it that it's moving and these are my velocity vectors or velocity arrows now you'll notice that it's uh, slowing down and so the acceleration is going to be in the opposite direction that's moving. Whenever it's slowing down, the acceleration is going to be in the opposite direction as the velocity. So in this case, it's going to be towards the left. Okay. And if you like, you can think of it this way. You can think of it as the velocity, right? So the velocity um, is decreasing by that amount, right? So kind of decreasing by that amount 
every, um, let's say, every second. So uh, the object that is slowing down um, will have a, a motion map where the dots are getting closer and closer, um, even though it's still you know, moving in the positive direction. Now let's take a look at um, the motion gra graphs. For the motion graphs, it's uh, starting, still starting at the origin here, and uh, it's going to be getting further away from the origin. So it's going to start here, and it's going to uh, end up over here. So it's starting here and end up over here, uh, but it's slowing down. So it's going to start steep, and then it's going to flatten out. So it's going to look something like this. Okay. Uh, for the velocity graph, let's think about that. What would the velocity graph look like? We know that it is. Um, starting off with high positive velocity and then it's uh, coming to a stop so it's going to start from here it's going to end here so it's going to look something like that and then for the acceleration let's think about this is it going to be a positive or a negative and we're only dealing with constant acceleration so the acceleration we'll see in our picture here is in the negative direction so the acceleration is going to be over here okay so once again, um, I want you to notice that the position graph, the slope of the position graph, tells us the velocity. So what do I mean by that? So if you were once again to draw the tangent lines, tangent lines, tangent lines, you'll see that this is very steep. I'll put three positives, two positives, one positive. It's getting less and less steep. So the velocity is decreasing to zero. It's flattening out. And then from the velocity graph, the slope of the velocity graph, we can figure out the acceleration because this slope is a negative slope. And so the acceleration will be a negative uh, constant acceleration. So now let's take a look at an object that is speeding up but into the negative direction. So the dots are going to get farther and farther apart. So the arrows will indicate the direction. So I know it's getting farther and farther apart and these are the velocity vectors. For the graph, we know that it's starting away from the origin, and uh, let's say that approaches to it, it ends up at the origin. So what will this graph look like? So we know that it's going faster and faster and faster, the sl so the slope would expect it to get steeper, and steeper, and steeper. For the velocity, we know that it's going to have a negative velocity. Initially, um, we'll say it starts from rest, so it starts here, and it's going to get very negative because it's in the negative directions. It's fast, but it's in the negative direction, so it's going to look something like that. And then, because this slope is a negative slope, we know that the acceleration, the acceleration will be negative. So that's positive zero and negative. It's going to be negative. Okay. On the top here, we could also include the acceleration arrow, which is going to be up here to the left. Acceleration is to the left. Okay, so now let's take a look at a situation where the object is slowing down, but in the negative direction. So the object is slowing down. The dots are getting closer, closer, closer together. Okay, so it's going to, it's going to the left in the negative, the negative direction. Okay, let's do one more here. Okay, um, so that's the velocity, and uh, once again, the uh, acceleration um, in this case is we want to look at the difference of the velocity arrows, and it's getting shorter and shorter, uh, so the acceleration is going to be to the right. So the acceleration is going to be to the right. Okay, and whenever you have an object that is slowing down, the acceleration will be in the opposite direction of the velocity. Now let's take a look at the graph. So uh, it starts away from the origin, and it's it's slowing down, um, and it reaches the origin. Uh, so it's going to be steep, and then it's going to be less steep. Okay. And then for the velocity, um, once again, it's still going to be negative because it's in the negative direction. So it's going to start here. It's going to come to a stop. So it's going to look something like that. And then for the acceleration, it's going to be based on that slope of the velocity graph. Uh, this is positive. So uh, we would expect the uh, slope of the accelerate. Sorry, we would expect the acceleration to also be positive.